Often when you're using Sales Cloud, a common request is uh, moving a status or a process forward and not allowing users to move backwards. Um, so here you can see we're on a lead, we're using Salesforce Sales Cloud, uh, and we're looking at a lead process. And the goal is to keep reps from moving this value backwards. Um, you know, this can be a case when you're using opportunities, um, using leads, and it's a uh, it's a common problem that companies run into when they're trying to measure the effectiveness of their pipeline, uh, when they're trying to forecast, uh, maybe for running some advanced analytics on sales cycle. If you allow users to constantly move backwards on a linear um, sales cycle, um, a lot of that data will obviously be corrupted. So right here, we're on the second status working contacted, and we just want to prevent users from moving to open not contacted. So if I click this, you can see that a validation gets triggered here um, for moving backwards. And if I choose to move forward, I can obviously do that. That one would be converted. So uh, if I go over here to set up, oops. I was on the wrong uh, tab here. Let me get this pulled over. I'm going to go to my object manager. I'm going to go to the lead object. And I'm going to click on validations. I can see that I have a status called lead status can't move backwards. Um, so just to explain quickly how this works, and I'll also paste the formula into the body of the um, video, um, we're just using a case function and a case prior value function to measure the current status and what was the prior value status. Um, so what you want to do is just paste this formula uh, and then take um, the name of the status and then give it a number value. So in order... Uh, in the order that you would like your reps to move, just number these statuses accordingly. So open not contacted is a value of one, working contacted is a value of two, uh, and then so on. So uh, once you have these numbered on the case status and the case prior value status, you can save and turn that on uh, and your reps will not be able to move backwards in a uh, status or stage. Uh, obviously, if you wanna change this to opportunity stage, uh, maybe you see value in using this on cases. Uh, you can just swap out the status field for uh, any pick list that you'd like.